Hello. Well, today's journey um, began in Redesilla, uh, a very small town uh, outside of Santo Domingo, the Calzone, whatever it's called, I don't know, I can't remember. Every there is turning into the same place. And I walked about 12 kilometers to a place called Belorado, which is uh, the nearest thing I've got to Burgos so far. Now, the thing is, tomorrow I'm going to take a, a, a bus from here to Burgos, which is um, it's about 40 kilometers, and it will save quite a bit of time on my journey. And then I want to get a, a, another bus from Burgos to Leon, which is going to cut out about 200 kilometers. Now, I'm going to come back I'm going to come back and do it another year, but um, my priority this year is to get to Santiago de Compostela by the 24th of July. Um, the weirdest thing happened today is really ridiculous. I came out of, was it today or was it yesterday? No, it was yesterday. Oh, I don't know when it was, whenever it was. It was either today or yesterday. Um, An Apple Maps car drove past and it had this round camera thing sort of going around and around the top of the car so I stood there and this is on the N120 so I've got to check this back where the location is and I was going Aah! so somewhere on Apple Maps I will appear but of course my face will be blurred maybe that's a good thing I don't know anyway when I got here this is great and it's really really super um, hotel, albergue, hostel, whatever you want to call it, with a pool. They've got loads of flags out, and of course I can't find the flag of St Edmund of Suffolk, so it's somewhere, hopefully it's somewhere in my rucksack. I couldn't find it for love and money, so I'm still looking. I've not given up all hope as yet. Um, so I've had a nice chill out day after doing my 12 kilometers. I'm glad I did it earlier because it has been a hot day. It's been about 26, 27 degrees. So sitting by the pool, dangling my legs in and other bits in has been very, very welcome. And it's helped my leg enormously. So now the problems I'm having is with my, this hip. Still, I'm still going on. I'm still here and I'm still loving it. This is my a third Wednesday here, a third Wednesday actually doing the actual walking and stuff. So having a great time and um, and special thank you, big, big thank you to my lovely, lovely friend Mira, who's been looking after Lucy and Scruples and um, seems they're liking it. They're loving it. They're like they're liking the rest. They're liking going for walks again. <laughs> yeah. OK, so such is life. But yeah, it's good for them have a little bit of change so uh and uh, thank you so much for looking after them you're an absolute angel great okay i'll talk to you all later when i can be bothered <laughs> or where i've got the wi-fi available probably not here but i'll give it a go anyway all right see you soon thanks for watching oh and don't forget go fund me Send you know, send me some money on that thing so I can get this this oratorio going and get some money off eventually to Cancer Research UK, Addenbrooks, and a little bit to Bernardos. I want to say Bernardos, but I won't. Right, that's it. Adios. Good afternoon out there in the world of We Love Barry St Edmunds followers, friends, fans, whatever. Um, <clears throat> you might have noticed that I've not been present for the last couple of three weeks. Uh, that's because I'm currently walking the Camino de Santiago de Compostela, which is a walk from the south of France, uh, Saint-Jean-Pierre-de-Port, to the west coast of Spain, uh, Santiago de Compostela, and then on to Finisterre, or Fister as they call it in Galicia. Why am I doing this? Lots of reasons. Um, there's a connection with Bury St Edmunds because the cathedral is, although we know it as the St Edmundsbury Cathedral, it's also the Church of St James. St James being also where Santiago, well, his remains are supposed to be. The connection with the two saints, St Edmund. St Edmund had his head cut off, as we all know. St. James had his head cut off, as not everybody knows, but they both had their heads cut off, making them both known as red martyrs, which means they met their ends in dramatic circumstances. Both of them inspired places of pilgrimage. In the case that I'm currently on, the 
800 or so kilometers walk across Spain uh, is one pilgrimage, but of course there was also the pilgrimage that people would come to Bury St Edmunds and pay their respects to St Edmund in years past. Um, both of them have a connection with arrows. Obviously St Edmund was shot through with many, many arrows. On the Camino de Santiago, there's many arrows here which point us to the way of Santiago de Compostela. It's what keeps us on track to make sure that we're actually following the right paths. And the paths are rocky and I've been having quite an adventure. And if you check over on my personal page, you can see what I've been up to in the last couple of weeks. But it's not just for the sake of doing it. Uh, I'm doing it to raise awareness of cancer research. Uh, I currently have a touch of liver cancer and Addenbrooks are being absolutely amazing to get me right, get me back on track. Um, but I'm also raising money for an oratorio, which is a not classical, but it's particularly quality music event based on the story of St. Edmund. And I want to bring this to the town and we're currently up to around £5,000. Um, the more I can get for this, then get uh, brilliant because uh, I should be going to the Barry St Edmunds Town Council and asking for matched funding to make sure that we get this event put on in Barry St Edmunds which is awesome which it will be awesome I've seen it twice in France so this will be the full English version and uh, it's going to be absolutely brilliant it was written by a French film composer called Jean Musy who passed away a couple of months ago and he is so well thought of uh, the place where he's buried in in Paris his grave is about 30 metres away from Maurice Ravel, who, as we all know, did the Bolero. The lyrics are written by my friend Amory David, and I've collaborated with her on the English translation to make sure the, the, the words are as she intended. And believe me, it's, it's going to be absolutely awesome. So, so what's this got to do with cancer research? So we're raising money to put the event on. When we do put the event on, Obviously, I hope lots and lots of people come to see it, and uh, St Mary's have agreed that they will uh, host for us, which would be wonderful. But any pro proceeds for that, or all the proceeds for that, will go to Cancer Research UK, Addenbrooks, and possibly also some to Bernardo's, because I've got some friends who are influential in Bernardo's. So we're going to keep it as local as possible, but cancer research, it, it affects so many people. And of course, this weekend, we've got the Relay for Life coming up at Nowton Park. And uh, Terry and his team will be doing the team for uh, positive steps with We Love Brace Edmonds, another We Love Brace Edmonds win. So, yeah, I look a bit different. <laughs> <laughs> and I'll tell you why, because I've actually stopped. I've been walking about 12 kilometres today to get to this wonderful albergue in Belorado. And OK, this is, <laughs> this is where I am at the moment. I'm in a pool. <laughs> so my lower half is chilling off. <laughs> uh, look forward to seeing you all and please do uh, use the donation link to our GoFundMe page all donations however small or preferably however great are massively appreciated and you're, you know you can trust me that your money will be well used and most appreciated thank you guys for watching love you see you soon three or four weeks hey whatever <laughs>